Hey guys, here's a new edit for you. You can just enjoy and work with me using the actions. So we have this little cutie. She looks a bit like a red tomato. So we're going to have to work on the skin and we're going to start with the silky smooth skin. So quickly just click on it and I've already loaded it here. And we're going to use a white brush bit smaller and I'm going to reduce the opacity and just quickly go around all of her skin. So let's do it quickly. There you go. Make sure you cover the arms as well. With a smaller brush I can like to go around the eyes a little bit more. There you go. I'm going to do a little bit on the forehead. Just want to smooth out everything that doesn't look so smooth. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that one. And I'm going to show you before and after. Quickly zoom in so you can see a bit more. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to flatten the image. I'm going to use the reduce redness now. Now, I usually go around the areas that are a little bit more obvious. So, give me one second. There you go. Just disappeared on me. And just clearing all these areas that looks a little too much, you know, too red. All the um, spots, the spots here, the spots there. A little bit here. There you go. Okay, I think that looks okay now. And what I'm going to do, just reducing the opacity, getting a bigger brush. And this time I'm going to reduce all the red from all over. There you go. Just go all over the skin right there. Maybe it's slightly purplish now, but we're going to work on that one as well. There you go. Because we just want to get all the red off baby skin first. Let's just have a look at what you did there. There you go. And flatten the image again. My next one is soft skin tone. So I got the soft skin tone. Let's just have a look. It's right there. It's just a layer. And the color is already selected. But as you can see, there's another color at the background. So um, you can either switch the colors or just select slightly darker, a little more towards the, um, the yellow tones. And get the opacity all the way up because I'm just going to paint that color all over baby right now just need to be a little careful because of that blanket because the blanket is blue and I know um, I had a friend photographer and she said to me but isn't it like changing the baby's skin tone well it is changing the baby's skin tone but you do want the skin tone to look nice so there you go and it will look natural, very natural by the time you finish. It's just going to look like um, a warmer kind of, kind of image. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to skip the warm, the uh, warm glow action there. Uh, because I already added a bit of the yellow to the color as well. Um, when I selected the color, so it looks okay. So I'm going to go to just add light. And... Reduce the opacity and the first things that I'm going to do is just add some light in the eye area. A little bit here and there and I'm basically sort of tracing kind of the natural highlights around here and there. There you go. And with a bigger brush, I'm going to just 
have a few touches just at the center of her face as well. Just want to get her face to pop out a little more. So before and after. So we got nice highlights on the baby. One touch here as well. There you go. And baby is much more um, popping out much more. Uh, the next one will be let's take care of the eyes now. So sharpened eyes, sharpened eyes and lips. Smaller brush and I want it to be on a hundred percent. So you got the action right there. And I'm just going around the eyelid there, just eyelashes, a little bit with the lips as well. And I don't want to do too much, so I'm happy with that. I'm flattening the image. The next one will be volumized lashes. So she's got a little bit of lashes, and that's super sharp right now. It's just the image itself. I'm going to reduce the opacity and make that line, the eye line, a little more obvious. There you go. And I can also go a little bit around the eyelashes, just sort of emphasizing the eyelashes there. And that looks okay. I sometimes like to also go around the lips as well, just make a nicer line on the lips. Let's go a little bit around here as well. Oops, too much. I like contour but I think I did it a little too much so I'm just going to just going to invert that just reduce that right there let me see okay so I'm happy with the results of that action right there and I'm going to flatten the image my next one is blush cheeks and lips I'm going to leave that one for later and the only thing I want to do is a little bit with the patch tool you can use the patch tool or the um, plaster tool and just going to reduce or remove a little bit of you know dry skin and bits that's still there on the skin Go a little even deeper, just clean it a little bit here and there. There you go, that looks okay. Sorry, my ugh, there you go. All right, flatten the image. Not even sure, I needed to do it. I was probably already flattened. And I'm going to use the um, oil paint effect. So, quickly clicking on that one. And I got the layer mask already open there. And using the brush on 100%, I'm going to remove that effect from her face. Because I don't want her face to look too smooth. A little bit from that, um, the hand as well. It's hard to see, and I'm pretty sure you can't see anything, but I do see that it did. It did make some change okay what would I do next I'm going to just um, I usually just use uh, noise wear which is it's just reducing some of the um, noise in the image and just popping a little bit of the contrast sharpening some details I always kind of do that it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of difference in the image but I do like that so I do use it the other thing I'm going to do in this image is just to quickly liquefy the bonnet. I know it looks okay, but just a tiny little bit. I just like things to be to be perfect. So tiny little bit here, a little bit on the back there. It looks okay. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah. Uh, 
All right, that looks okay. Make the flower a little bit smaller. Okay, click okay. So it's just lots of little changes, but I always feel like it makes a difference. So I like it. So that's how I do things. And I would like to use the sweet summer on this image because I think now I'm going to get good results with it. It's going to reduce, as you can see, kind of make um, it just made the image and a little more natural color and um, reduce that redness from the baby. I'm going to open a layer mask to that action because I want to get the cheeks back. I just want to get that blush on the cheeks and the color on the lips. So of course you don't have to do it like that. Um, that's just the way that I like editing my photos and I like that action a lot because it kind of gives a really nice color to the skin. I'm going to press on flatten image now and let's just work a little bit with the patch tool just to make the skin a little bit more uh, smooth so i'm going to duplicate the layer we also have an action there so we don't need to worry about it i'm going to reduce the opacity to around 60 and with the patch tool i'm just going to drag and make just a few areas on the skin a little smoother Go a little bit even there. I'm going to take some time doing that one now. All right, let's see something around the legs a little bit. Okay, let's see if I want to do anything else with this image. Um, go. There's always all these little, um, like, blood vessels on baby's eyes. It's almost in every single image of newborn. There's always lots of blood vessels around the eyes. There you go. I think it's okay, and I might just use a matte layer on the overall image. But I think, as far as the baby, I think the baby looks okay. Um, I think the skin is looking good. Okay, so I'm just thinking if I want to get a little more highlights. Let's just flatten the image a little bit, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more highlights. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I'm back to the add light action and just a little bit here and there. Just want to get the eyes here. Don't like the way that the eyes are a little bit, I don't know, flat. There we go. There we go and flatten the image and i'm just going to use camera or filter for some contrast there we go a little more contrast reduce some of that light okay click okay let's see what we got mm, okay i'm not sure about that i think it made the image look no i don't like that so i'm going to just cancel that one and I might use one of the actions now let's just have a quick look what do we want let's try this one and see what happened no I don't like that one hmm try that one okay that looks really nice that's the golden egg Okay, something like that. 
not too much and flatten the image and I'm just going to click on the matte layer now and opening the, um, the I'm just going to open the group here of all of the actions and I'm just going to reduce with a larger brush and 100% on black from baby face mainly okay so just these two just the bottom ones okay and I'm going to reduce that contrast because it's a bit too much light on baby's face you see that there you go check that one as well Okay, so I'm happy with that, flattening the image and the next thing I'm going to do just eye details is the action that just kind of pops all the details in the image. So done that, all good, flatten the image and let's just have a look and see where we started from. So we have history here and this is the original image, zoom in. There you go, before and after. So I'm happy with that. If you like the image to be a little more on the blue tones and less um, less yellowish, I suppose you can just play with a little bit with the temperature. Bring it back to this stage. There you go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just do it again because it just disappeared. Yep, I'm happy with this image and this will be my final um, edit. And that's it. It's ready to be saved. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that helped. And let me know if you got any questions. That's it. Bye-bye. Thank you.